<laughs> I watched Archer again the other night, and I forgot that that's one of his things that he always goes is meep. He does. Yeah, or like, something. Well, what's up, guys? Hey, it's life. Shit, no. Sean Benjamin would have found him. Funny noises first. He's the original funny noise guy. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows it. The guy from Police Academy learned everything he knows from John Benjamin. Silly sounds, funny noises. One of my favorite stories about him and Archer and stuff was that one of his catchphrases on that is always to quote that song and say, like, Danger Zone. Uh huh. And he's talking about how that's kind of a funny thing because all the, a lot of kids watch Archer, so he'll be out in public, and then there'll be like an eight-year-old, and it'll be like, danger zone, danger zone. <laughs> and a lot of people, if you've seen John Bennett, yeah. <laughs> they don't look at him in a nice way when little kids are yelling at him. <laughs> he's he's uh, got a few, uh, yeah. a few suspicious parents out there. <laughs> no, it's stranger danger. <laughs> danger zone's a good thing. But yeah, I'm big fans of Kenny Loggins. He told a story He's on twelve uh, year olds. <laughs> um, one of the talk shows, and I just still crack up thinking about it. <laughs> I recommend strongly to children uh, to not watch Archer. Right. Maybe wait till you're older. But that's just me. <laughs> this is this is called the Wesson's opinion segment. It depends on your parenting style. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you're in the Tom does. camp. <laughs> You just watch everything. <laughs> when you're younger, it doesn't even matter. You're on a roll right now. <laughs> a Rick roll. No one scored my goal. Gonna get scored today. That would be our first skunking, public skunking. Yeah. The pressure's on now. <laughs> yeah, now. Now you know, because I don't mind. I'm all for firsts. Sure. Lock yourself. Right. Stop locking yourself, Tom. Oh, oh. the skunk. Now it becomes a bit of a second plot. Submarine plot. <laughs> a yellow like, submarine? <laughs> like the dawn of Red October. Is that right? Red dawn of October? <laughs> uh, what's into the washer goes and I haven't even touched it. Yeah. So. A bar this weekend, and one of my friends was talking about how he was upset that they retired the crayon dandelion from the Crayola box. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's a big deal. But what was better about it was that he started with he couldn't remember which one it was. So, so, we're, so we were like, Yeah, no more red. <laughs> Robert, you three <laughs> Well, the fact that he's that upset and he doesn't know the color that was retired. Right. Can we acknowledge this person's? Oh, we almost got those walker buys. Like Instead of casual tea. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. If you don't know the color of the guy to retire, but you're upset about it, right? I think that person needs to pick a better subject, or they need to not drink so much before they start their argument. <laughs> Man, I'm so upset about that I'm color. Did you hear about the color? Yeah. Oh. Yes. Yes! <laughs> Ow! Turn around and hit me. But now yeah. I gotta come back. Is we this named, a person I know? <laughs> we named all the primary colors before. Yeah. <laughs> we gave them the one that actually was like, yeah, no more red or green or blue. Was it black? <laughs> That's usually, was, was it white? Not even technically the color. Oh, there. Is it white or black that... Are you getting racial on me? No, I'm not. <laughs> we are fans of all colors of crayons on this show. <laughs> we don't care if you're cyan or your Controversial flower. decision. Crayola has changed the name of white to whitey. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> that is a very controversial decision. Listen, Crayola. We're not here to tell you how to run your business. 
this. <laughs> Except on this one account. Stop dividing us. <laughs> I want to live in a world where crayons are just crayons. <laughs> Listen, man, it's just a bunch of wax with some pigment. <laughs> it's more than that, son. It's much more. <laughs> Apparently. Rickroll song go again. <laughs> now we're gonna get you up. <laughs> now we're gonna score this game. You just scored a game. That, was that in the 90s that I, like late? started as an internet thing? Oh well, yeah, I felt maybe the late 90s. Maybe. I don't think so. I think I think Rick Rolling was a 2000s. Yeah. Seems weird that there was even internet before the year 2000. <laughs> I know there was, but it's just like... You weren't alive, so how would you know? That's true, I was born in like 1999. According to <laughs> statistics, I was able to find on but, your performance. Uh, yeah, no. Because I remember the internet back then, and it was like, you had the Dancing Hamster webpage. Yep. <laughs> Every webpage that existed had like patterns on it. Oh yeah, you had to have a tiled background. Right. <laughs> or you weren't a real website. And then, um... I think YouTube was around, right? Yeah, it was, I think, pretty but early on. There were only, like, a couple of things that were, like, considered funny videos to look up, really. Yeah, I mean, Charlie Bit My Finger was probably in, like, 2003. Yeah. 2002? Is it 02? Did it start on YouTube, or did it start somewhere else? I think it started on YouTube, but I'm not sure. YouTube started in 2006. 2006, wow. Oh, dang, maybe. Maybe it was on like, Forget YouTube. It was like one of the first ones though, right? The one by yeah, it. yeah, it was one of the original virals. Maybe it was like on MySpace or something originally. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. MySpace started in 2005, I don't know. So maybe what? late 2005. Dang you with your facts. Your history. We're, we're used to just making stuff up. <laughs> Fact checking. <laughs> well, we appreciate the knowledge. Thank you. Friendly, straight word. <laughs> <laughs> He's also a friend of the show. A little less famous than a lot of our friends of the show. That was uh, one of our inmates here. Good like behavior. Oh, come on. Come on. You let him have to do correspondence sometimes. Hey. Well, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's a pretty shirt you're wearing. Thanks. You like, like the color? It's very beautiful. It's no, I hate it. It's awful. <laughs> it makes your eyes bulge out, I guess. <laughs> this guy's got bulgy eyes. <laughs> oh, where's that shirt, though? <laughs> ah, that's the game. That's his old game. You are a cheater. You are finished. Good games. <laughs> Tears exploded!